Hey folks, I'm Joe of Peace Lug and this is Coffee Soul. You know Koreans love coffee, right? And Korea has a bunch of convenience stores. Guess what? They all serve their own coffee and it only costs around a dollar. So if you're sick of Starbucks or you're down on your bottom dollar, visit a convenience store. And today we're going to check out a few of those and see if their coffee is as good as their convenience store brand. Walk with me. So first stop is GS25. If you lived in Korea, you could not have missed this convenience store. It was actually LG25 around 15 years ago, when, but LG company and GS company, they split. And henceforth, this was place was called GS25. You know, GS brand comes in a lot of big retail stores, you know, big, uh, you know, they, they own the distributor chain here, and one of their big thing is their convenience store. But today, we're going to check out their brand of a dollar coffee called Cafe 25. Well, I can't praise them for originality, but it's a good match to their name, GS25, Cafe 25. You know, it's because, you know, it used to be 24 hours, but they're saying we're open an hour more for you guys kind of stuff. But anyway, let's see. Huh? Where's, uh, where's Angry? Um, hello? Hello? You know what, folks, I gotta go look for him. He's probably around somewhere. It's a uh, Americano, and it tastes like Americano. <laughs> it doesn't cost a total, some total, three dollar, four dollar. No, it costs tono begon, which is same around lamium price. So. I'm not complaining. GS25 is a go. Woo! Our second destination, CNU. Uh, look at their lime and purple icon. If you lived in Korea, you saw, you saw them a thousand times. They're basically the rival to GS25. Let's see if their coffee taste rivals theirs too, which was good. Joe's at GS, right? Well, wait a minute. Seeing you already? And where's Happy? Oh, yeah! Smack time! You know what? This coffee. Where? <laughs> huh. I've never been that angry before, so this is weird for me. I had ice before, so this time I decided to cool it down with my warm Americano, which only costs ton on in CNU. The taste verdict, you get exactly what you paid for, and you know what? It's not so bad at all. <laughs> Look at this paper cup. It's a ton on daddy paper cup with ton on daddy coffee. <laughs> but the beauty of drinking in a convenience store, like you saw in GS25 and here we are at CNU. In Korea they got all these outdoor seats. And I'm loving it. This is more than a channel experience. CNU, go babies, go! Woohoo! Anytime open. Next stop, Mini Stop. Yes, it's the name of a convenience store in Korea. It's not as popular as GS25 and CNU, but they do their job just like the rest of them and let's see if their coffee is just like that. This coffee... I'm Joe Happy, so... I'm always happy, but... Like... This like GS and CS and Mini Stop... Huh? Is it a dose of honey? <laughs> Hey folks, surprising fact, Ice Americano in Mini Stop only costs ton on, while the rest of them charge Obegon more, ton Obegon for the ice. Now on the taste, there's a Korean word called Kosohe, 
and this one is definitely Gosohe. Look that one up. So uh, we can tell that Mini Stop is um, very localized. For Tonon, you get paid. You get what you exactly paid for. Don't complain if you need a coffee. Mini Stop is a go. Coffee on the rush. Hey, so. I'm gonna say this, every convenience store have their own unique taste, but I didn't go into it because that taste is like comparing, what do you say? Some little thing for another thing. All I can say is each convenience store is worth the buck if you're just trying to chill and you need a fast rush. So go to any convenience store in Korea and get the dollar coffee that you deserve.